Welcome everybody, get comfortable. You're going to love today's show. Take a look at this succulent, mouth-watering burger. You all see it there? Now they're hungry already. Let me cut it very deftly here. Look at it, how juicy it is. Can you all tell that? Can you see that? Oh my goodness, that looks good. How much, who wants to taste this? Right, everybody, we're gonna sink your teeth into it right now. Right, it seems almost sinful, doesn't it? So good. Let me cut it in little squares there. Here, now take a taste. Hold, hold, take the bowl, take, hold the bowl there. Don't spill it on yourselves. I cut an extra one for everyone back here. Pass that around up there. All right, now, this burger, just, just taste it and let it so melt in your mouth. And I want a word that describes it. Thoughts? Very good. Juicy. Juicy, Very good. good. Delish. Delish. Delicious. When you hear delish from women all together, it sounds good. Happy? Delicious. Yeah. Huh? I love a good burger. Delicious. Yeah. All right. So what if I told you that this burger is guilt-free? Guilt-free. No extra time at the gym or making it up by cutting calories elsewhere this afternoon, tomorrow, any other time. Even better, isn't it? Wow. All right, because you know what? It's made from a healthy meat. And it's a healthy meat, and I know it's healthy meat because of where it comes from. Right? This is a healthy meat that you should be eating, right? but you're not. It's bison meat. Wow. Have you ever heard of bison meat? No. Yes. Couple yeses, mostly noes. Yes. All right. Yes. Famed food journalist Larry Olmsted says, our country is on the verge of a bison boom. So he went to the front line to investigate. Bison's a meat that's been ignored for a long time, but now it's starting to show up on more and more restaurant menus, and that's a good thing. Because we're living in a time where everyone is looking for healthier proteins, we should be celebrating bison. It's the closest tasting meat to our beloved beef, yet it's healthier, and it's raised naturally. The largest bison rancher in the world is media mogul Ted Turner. He's committed to preserving the American bison, which was nearing extinction just a decade ago. I had a pretty decent sized uh, bison herd out west. Having restaurants made, made sense to me to uh, introduce bison meat to, you know, millions of consumers around the country. I knew that if people tried it and it was prepared properly that they would like it. Sir so Turner partnered with restaurateur George McCaro and opened Ted's Montana Grill, where bison is front and center on their menu. Can I get a bison burger for table four? I visited Ted's in New York to get an inside look at the restaurant that's responsible for reintroducing bison to America's table. They serve more bison here than at any other restaurant in the world. So George, what is it people love so much about your bison? Well, it's good and it's good for you. I mean, bison is a great protein. It's richer in omega-3 fatty acids, in some cases, and even salmon. It's sweet. It's tasty to remind you of eating a great beef steak. Is, it, is America in the middle of a bison boom? I think so. I mean, right now, demand is five times supply. At Ted's, fresh bison is brought in and cut by hand into steaks or ground into burgers two or three times daily on the premises. We serve over 20 different iconic bison dishes here, from meatloaf to burgers to steak to chili. It's really, really good food here. So George, we've saved the best part of this visit for last. Am I gonna get to try your bison? Absolutely, you are, Larry. Alex, can you bring that steak over here, please?